The Tyrells claim Highgarden, but they didn't build it. They claim descent from the first king of the Reach, but only through the female line. The truth is that House Gardener built Highgarden when they ruled the Reach as kings, not lords. And as their name attests, they were the true heirs of Garth the Gardener, who founded their house and the kingdom and brought law and order to the Reach. He built High Garden as a fortress, not a pleasure palace. In those dark days, the Ironborn raided up and down the Mandor at will, and the Dornish were even more trouble than they are now. To our enduring shame, a Dornish army once sacked High Garden and destroyed the Oaken Seat, the living throne of the Gardener Kings, planted by Garth Greenhand himself. The Gardeners responded wisely sending armies of their own to pacify and defend the countryside. My ancestors at Horn Hill joined them, as did the other great families of the Reach. Even House Hightower yielded without a fight, choosing marriage into House Gardner over a war that would weaken us against outsiders. But the outsiders still came. The Andals swept across Westeros, destroying many ancient families and kingdoms. When the invaders arrived at the Reach, led by Sir Alistair Tyrell, House Gardener chose accommodation over battle, hoping honors and marriages would sate the foreigners' ambitions. The Tyrells were welcomed into service as hereditary stewards of High Garden. Thousands of years later, they repaid the Gardeners for their acceptance. When Aegon Targaryen declared that Westeros was now his, King Myrn the Ninth allied with King Loren Lannister of the Westerlands. Together, they fought to save Westeros from another foreign barbarian, whose family practices put decent men to shame. But the dragons won, and the Field of Fire claimed Myrn and all his sons, grandsons, and brothers. Instead of using the castle for what it was built to do, Harlan Tyrell surrendered it to Aegon without a fight. In exchange, Harlan was given the castle his family had served for thousands of years with all its attendant lands and lords, including my family. Perhaps the Tyrells were great once, but Harlan gave away their honor when he opened gates that weren't his to open and to a foreign invader. Ever since, there hasn't been a Lord Tyrell who wasn't a mockery of the title. Women rule that house. Everybody knows it. And look what it's wrought. Their proper lord, heir, and queen, dead. Leaving only a shrunken old woman who forgets her loyalties to the realm, either in grief or dotage. But her thorns won't protect her more than any other rose when the hand comes to rip them out. <laughs>